Along the shore, the cloud waves break. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Lost Carcosa. Tonight we're going to be playing The Last King, which is part two of the Path to Carcosa storyline for Arkham Horror the Card Game. The Last King takes place in Arkham City at 1 1452 Atlantic Avenue, home of a woman named Constance Dumaine, who is hosting an event in celebration of the play The King in Yellow's One Night Engagement in Arkham. So the story so far is that after, that um, tonight is the one night engagement of the play The King in Yellow, and around intermission, Min and Lola are intrepid investigators. They both were um, they were both knocked out and woke up in some sort of nightmare hellscape where everything is rotten and there are corpses everywhere and um, things are generally pretty disgusting they managed to escape the ward theater where they both were while the you know where where they both were while the play was taking place and they went to the police to try to explain what was happening but the police did not believe them so in search of evidence they head to 1452 atlantic avenue for the cast party um lola of course has already been invited because she's part of the cast okay so i'm going to go through the uh, changes we've made to the two decks, um, starting with Lola here. You can see I've, I've uh, laid out a lot of cards here. Lola with her 6 XP, she, um, she bought quite a few cards. So I had her buy all three copies of Easy Mark, a uh, myriad card from the Dream Eater cycle. I picked this one up because it does a lot of the same functionality of Emergency Cash, but I think it's just, it's just better. Um, draw, extra card draw is just a little bit better than, um, than resources in my opinion. And um, since we're already playing Dark Horse, we want to kind of hang out at zero resources a lot of the time, which means these easy marks can accumulate in her hand. And the more easy marks she draws, the um, if she does need resources, the higher the payoff easy mark will give if she has two or even three of them in her hand. Also, unlike Emergency Cash, easy mark has two skill icons on it. So um, if she doesn't need the resources, then um, easy mark can pay out in icons. I've also picked adaptable because it's just it's just great. I think any um any rogue who can take adaptable probably should. It's like a it's almost like a class feature so to speak. And um since we're moving towards um gaining using making rogue one of her starring roles by uh, adding three copies of easy mark, I I um I kind of dialed down the uh, the mystic cards. So I swapped out prophesy and um drawn to the flame for steadfast. Um, I think Steadfast is going to be pretty useful because um, based on how Curtain Call went, she had a pretty decent ability to stay topped up on health and sanity thanks to um, thanks to allies soaking damage and um, horror for her. So I think Steadfast will be really useful in providing a um, three combat icons for a big check or three willpower icons is a bit more important. Um, speaking of soaking, I've uh, swapped out the David Renfelds and I've brought in a copy of Peter Sylvester, Big Man on Campus, level two. Um, Peter Sylvester is just very efficient. He's He costs three, and he provides a bonus in two stats. On top of that, he can soak horror like a champ, so I'm, I'm bringing him in. And then I spent the last two XP on haste. I'm going to give this a try, because um, this is going to let Lola um, take the same action three times in a row. And uh, I think there's a lot of good... You know, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I think this will make a good experiment. Um, it'll help her be able to do things like move three times, or draw three times, or fight three times. I think it's probably going to happen quite a bit. Okay, so that's um, that's our Lola deck here. Min's um, upgrades with her sex XP were much simpler. As you may remember, last episode we um, we interpreted the dreams in the dream diary. So this was uh, I went back and forth and. Um, after much deliberation, I chose which form of the Dream Diary I was going to have Min upgrade her Dream Diaries into. And I chose the uh, Dreams of an Explorer, the one where while she's out at a location with at least four Shroud, her essence of the dream, which is going to, um, which she's going to uh, you know, spawn into her hand every turn without spending an action, is going to, is going to, be, um, is going to have four question marks when she's at a place with four Shroud. I know that um, Dreams of a Child, the one where... Um, 
her dream her essence of the dream gets additional question marks when um she has at least eight cards in hand that one is very popular but um and i have a feeling i could make this min this min deck uh work with that one i think i'm gonna go with uh, dreams of an explorer because i didn't want to have to devote more deck space to ensuring that dreams of a child fires every turn okay so yeah, and I, I think Dreams of an Explorer should work out just fine. Um, when she's out of location with Four Shroud, that means if she um, commits Essence of the Dream to an investigation test, which is mainly what she wants to do when she's at High Shroud locations, it means she's going to be at a, an effective 8 in, uh, or even 9, thanks to her own ability, in investigation um, just with that single card. So um, I think this is going to be pretty useful because it's going to provide targeted... Um, wild icons for high shroud locations without having to spend much effort to do it whereas i think dreams of a child is more um is more generally useful but requires deck space and a bit more building around to make it work okay so that is so that's our decks um let's go to the scenario as i mentioned we've headed over to 1452 atlantic avenue to um i guess um look for some uh look for some evidence about what's been going on with this awful play so let's see what we have to do here act one discovering the truth so this is going to be the only act of this scenario uh, this isn't a party it's a madhouse but for some reason the guests are too deluded to notice very few of them are sane and many are themselves horrors to your eye perhaps you can talk to them to learn more about the king in yellow okay so what's going to happen here is that we just want to get as many clues as we can and we need to get out of this awful place Okay, probably through resigning. And what's going to happen here? Agenda one, better never than late. As you pull up to the manor, you notice that something is wrong. A trail of blood leads up the porch steps, and the front door is smashed. Muted music comes from within the house. It's warped and discordant notes painful to your ears. Has the madness of the king in yellow already made its way here? Okay, so uh, yeah, it looks like they are hanging out in their um, in their nightmare hellscape, and they're just trying to find something tangible to bring, you know, so that way the police will believe them. Okay, so um, as part of setup for um, the Last King, um, a lot of the action is going to revolve around um, talking to several um, named um, member named uh, members uh, associated with the production of the king in yellow i'm going to shuffle them up and i'm going to deal them out to our five main locations here so we've got ashley clark talented entertainer is going to be hanging out in the dining room jordan perry dignified financier is going to be hanging out in the ballroom okay um, we've got constance Dumain, sociable hostess she's going to be hanging out in the courtyard We've got Ishimaru Haruko, costume designer, is going to be hanging out in the gallery up here. And Sebastian Moreau, impassioned producer, is going to be um, chilling in the living room. So that's where we're going to have to go in order to, um, in order to, uh, we're going to, have to, we're going to have to use parlay actions with these five, um, I guess, bystanders in order to find out what we can about the king in yellow and our jobs are to uh, discover as many clues as possible and then survive okay so that's gonna um that's gonna take care of uh, everything we need to set up and uh, i think i'll move to opening hands okay let's get started so as usual we're um we're mainly looking for assets in our opening hand let's see lola i could use some things to uh oh hello oh track shoes are good Okay, oh, there's fine clothes and magnifying glass, so we can investigate pretty well. We'll be able to move around and evade, and we'll be able to do parlay checks pretty well. So it looks like from the um, from looking at our bystanders here, we're going to have to make a lot of parlay tests in order to um, grab clues off of them. So I think grabbing that fine clothes is uh, pretty nice. Um, in case I have to do any investigations, magnifying glass will be great. So I think I'm just going to hang on to these, and I have... I have nothing I need. To, I have nothing I can actually use with acts of desperation, so I'll drop that. And um, I'm spending five resources worth already, so I think I'll just mulligan that, and I'll hang on to this for an important um, skill test. Okay, so let's redraw that. Oh, we got a weapon now too. Oh, okay, things are looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna prioritize. I think I'm gonna prioritize for the for the first turn. Um, fine clothes, magnifying glass, and enchanted blade. So I'll start as I'll start as guardian because I'll start as uh, 
Start a seeker. Okay, that seems fine. All right, over to Min. Let's see what she gets. Okay, as as usual with Min, she's looking for assets, especially her brand new handy dandy upgraded dream diary. Okay, so I've got the lab assistant. That's really good. I don't need the lab assistant and Madame Lebranche. So I'll I'm mulligan Madame Lebranche. Okay. Um, we don't have any. We're not going to have any um, sanity damage at the beginning. So I'll mulligan that. And you know what? I'm just going to mulligan all these and look for more assets. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we got another laboratory assistant in case we need it. Um, yeah, th this is okay. We got we got an early boost of resources from Crack a Case from from the first um, location we clear. So that's good. Okay, so let's see where they start. They start off in the foyer. The entrance hall is lavishly decorated, displaying the wealth of the manor's owners while still creating a welcoming atmosphere. Shall I take your coat? The doorman asks as you enter. It takes a moment before you realize the doorman has only bloody stumps where he should have hands. Yep, we are definitely in the nightmare hellscape here. Okay, so our foyer, our foyer has two clues, and it's only two shroud, and we can resign from here. In fact, I think we're going to have to resign from here. Yep. That's right. We need to find as many clues as we can and then get out of this awful place. So we're definitely going to be resigning at some point. All right. So I think what I'm going to do here, let's start with Lola. Maybe she can grab one of the clues. So with Lola, if I go first action magnifying glass, um, well, non-action magnifying glass, first action find clothes, swap to guardian, second action enchanted blade. Okay. That should get some charges. Okay, so two actions to play, two assets, and then um, third action, I'll investigate at four versus two. That seems pretty good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Minus two is a success. So we've got one of the two clues already. Okay, so that went pretty well. Okay, Lola might have to do some drawing here soon. All right, over to Min. Now, Min, first thing I'm going to do, absolutely, is play this lab assistant to get some more cards, and let's see what we get. Ooh, we've already started off with the king in yellow. Oh, this is going to be awful. Okay, so we're going to have to power draw, get a lot of... Um, we can't even commit this take cart. We're going to have to power draw, get a lot of icons. Okay, so she doesn't need to investigate and crack the case. So she needs to just, I guess, draw to deal with king in yellow. So I think what I'll do here is we'll go second action draw card. Okay. Ooh, dream diary. That's good. That's going to help us deal with the king in yellow. So third action, I'll play our dream diary. So next turn, um, that'll... That'll send this, um, it'll start sending this Essence of the Dream into my hand, and then we'll be able to start. Um, if I can find a, a location that's at least four Shroud in here, then I think we'll be getting pretty close to solving the King in Yellow and getting it out of our hand. Um, yeah, so this is going to be tough. So between the Essence of the Dream and Unexpected Courage, that's that's um, four icons right there. Min can provide a fifth. Okay, and then I guess like I can just investigate with Lab Assistant, and then that'll be our sixth icon. Okay, so I think we're well on our way to um, dealing with the King in Yellow. Okay, so that is all our actions. Is that correct? Yep. Laboratory Assistant, Draw, Dream Diary. Okay, so let's go to Upkeep, where we'll get a Steadfast, okay, and a Fine Clothes. Oh, that's really good to see, because we're going to have to make a lot of Harley checks a lot of Harley checks. In fact, we're looking at at least 15, we're looking at about 15 of them at least. Okay, new turn. We're going to go to one Doom out of three, and let's see what kind of awful things we get. Okay, we've got a young psychopath. Okay. So um, Lil's going to either have to take a horror or give the young psychopath plus three fight. Okay, so I have some options. Um, if I attack it, I'm, I'd be at five versus either five or two. Um, if I evade it, I'm at three versus three. So I, hmm, it's actually a good question because I could use take the initiative to just evade it. It doesn't hunt, so I could just evade it, grab the clue, and leave, which actually seems like a good plan. The other thing I could do is take a horror. I mean, it doesn't hunt, so I think I'll go for the evasion plan, which means I will um, let it have plus three fight until the end of the investigation phase. Okay, that's, that's fine. All right, over here, we've got a Dance of the Yellow King. Okay, so there is a lunatic enemy in play. All right, so what'll happen is we've got Tuskwill Part 3, and if we fail, the nearest lunatic... Oh, it'll come over and attack her. Now, that's not the worst. Yeah, it's not the worst. Okay, so we'll test it 4 versus 3. Okay, and I can't really commit anything into it. Okay, that's a 0, so um, we pass. All right, so what do we need to do? Um, I think I'm going to have Lola go first here. So what we're going to do is we're going to evade this uh, young psychopath. I'll plop in this Take the Initiative, so we're going to be at 6 versus 3 to evade. Uh, that's a success. So we evade the young psychopath. Then I'll grab this clue. 
at 4 versus 2. Let's do that. Reveal another token. Oh, sweet, success. That would have put a doom on the psychopath. That would have been a problem. So I grab the clue, and then let's leave the psychopath behind. All right, where are we going to go first? Okay, so let's, let's look at our options. We've got Jordan Perry over here. We're going to need 10 or more resources to talk to him, so we're probably not going this way. And we have Ashley Clark over here. She requires two actions to talk to, which is kind of slower than these over here. So I think we're going to we're gonna um, leave these for later. So what do we have? We have Constance Dumaine. She's, um, you can just parlay at difficulty three, or one in our case. We've got Sebastian, parlay willpower at difficulty three, or one in our case. And then we've got Ishimaru, where you can parlay at difficulty zero if you have six cards in hand. Okay, so we're definitely heading this way. Um, I'm thinking we'll go to the courtyard. Yeah, courtyard seems good. Okay, we'll do that. So Lola heads over to the courtyard. Looking out one of the windows, you spy the courtyard in the center of the manor. You find yourself longing for fresh air. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, so it's Shroud 5. There are no clues here. And, oh, we're going to have to see if we uh, spawn an enemy. That could be a problem since we just ran out of actions. All right, here we go. It's not an enemy. All right, that's good. Okay, so... What was first a wave of relief upon exiting the manor turns to dread. Dozens of yellow eyes stare at you from the building's rooftops, and shapes loom in the clouds above. Okay, yeah, dozens of uh, yellow eyes. I mean, look at, if you look at look at that uh, artwork right there, it looks like a bee key is just hanging out on the rooftop. Okay, uh, one thing I forgot about is whether to use crack the case. Um, I think I will. So when Lola discovers that last clue, I'll have Min play crack the case. Except I'm going to give the resources to Lola. She's, she's kind of short right now, so we'll do that. Okay, I'm going to back that up. Okay, so over to Min. Uh, start of her turn, the essence of the dream comes to hand. All right, so the good news is because this is Stroud 5, if Min were to make a test from here, this is going to have four question marks. So then she just has to commit three cards to a skill test. And then she's kind of set. Do I want to commit this laboratory assistant? Because I'm looking at essence of the dream and unexpected courage and lab assistant. Yeah, that could be problematic. All right, well, we're definitely going to move. Okay. Oh, we have to see if she she gets an enemy when she goes in there. Oh, that could be a problem. Well, if that's true, then she'll be good at evasion. But I don't want to spend these fine clothes on the evasion. Okay, so maybe with Min, we don't go here. We go here instead. An enemy would be a problem. Okay, so we'll go over here. First action will move. I don't want to tempt fate by looking for two enemies. Living room. Cigarette smoke and the sounds of idle chatter drift out of the manor's living room. You feel the warmth behind the door. How many fireplaces does this place have? Oh, okay, so it's got a fire in the living room. And uh, after you perform a parley action in the living room, draw a card. Ooh, that's handy, because Min kind of needs cards right now. Okay, so right now, if she were to parley with Sebastian, she's at four versus three. Um, let's go second action, play these fine clothes. Okay, so now she's parlaying at four versus one. All right, I can't really put in three cards unless I were to put in take heart. And... Oh, I mean, I, I could, but I'd rather not. Okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll just parlay at four versus one and try and use this draw. Okay, so let's do that. So I'll parlay at four versus one. That is a success. So I get a clue from Sebastian. All right, and I get to activate the living room to draw a card. Okay, analytical mind. That's good to see. Um, after we deal with the king in yellow, that is. Okay, so that's going to be all our actions. We have no. We have just this bad guy on the board. So she's just going to hang out at the at the foyer talking to the uh you know the doorman with no stumps with no, with no hands and we'll go to upkeep this is our last chance for lola to change roles so i'll go to survivor all right so draw and take a resource okay that's no, that's always good to see so we'll play track shoes next turn i think okay over here we'll get another dream diary which i'm not going to need but it provides me a willpower icon for purposes of solving the king in yellow okay new turn we're going to be at two doom out of three and let's see what kind of encounter cards we get. Okay, Lola gets a tough crowd. Each investigator must spend an additional action to parlay this turn. Ooh, that's, that's yucky. And we've got bleeding walls. Okay, test willpower. X is the strad value of your location. If you fail, lose an action and take a horror. All right, strad value is three. We're currently at four versus three. So this might be a good opportunity to solve the king in, ye to, uh, solve the king in yellow. I think it actually kind of is. So if I put in this Essence of the Dream, this Unexpected Courage, this Dream Diary, and trigger Min's ability, that's six icons. Yeah, and then I'm going to get the Essence of the Dream back at the start of her turn. 
So th this seems like a good call. All right, so I'm putting in six icons. So we're at 10 versus three. Okay, that's a success. So the king in yellow, um, king in yellow goes away. Uh, this goes out of play. These get discarded and that is dealt with. Okay, so we've used Min's ability for the turn and we've solved the king in yellow. Okay, so this triggers when her turn begins. All right. That's actually worth noting that um, since the Dream Diary triggers when her turn begins, I think there's some interesting shenanigans I can do with this. Like if um, like if she commits her essence of the dream in the Mythos phase, or if she commits her essence of the dream during Lola's turn when Lola go f goes first. That's like another window for me to do that, and then it'll come back at the sort of Min's turn. So that's like kind of a way to like compress and get double duty out of an essence of the dream. All right, so we've cleared the King in Yellow. That's really good. I mean, that kind of opens up analytical mind. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, we just need another resource for analytical mind. All right, so the problem now is that parlays cost two actions. So, but, so I could either, I could take this turn to like draw. Um, in Min's case, I could go like resource, analytical mind, draw. Nah, I think she's going to take, I think she's actually going to take the two actions to parlay and the, the reason why is that she gets a card back for doing it, so it's it's not so bad. All right, so I think what we'll do with Min is I'll have her parlay. We'll be at four versus three, so I'm gonna spend two actions to do that. Four versus one, in fact, because of the fine clothes, right? You don't need anything special here. So let's do that. Okay, minus one is a success, so we get the clue. Okay, and we get to draw a card off the living room. Okay, so it's not so bad. All right, that's good to see. All right, so with her last action, she can't really play anything. Um, there's not much to really do here. So I'll, have, I'll just have her draw another card with her last action. Oh, Glimmer of Hope. Okay. Oh, she was supposed to have that in hand too. Okay. So pretty good hand. All right, over to Lola. Let's see, she doesn't have much to do. I think I'll just have her parlay and play the track shoes. Seems fine. So let's go track shoes. Okay, and last action parlay, we're gonna be at three versus one. Seems fine. Uh, oh, reveal another token. Success, okay, so we've got this clue right here. Okay, so we're doing fine, we've got five clues so far. Everything's going smoothly. All right, so we have no hunters, so um, this is gonna go away at the end of the turn, but let's go to upkeep. Okay, card and resource, okay. Over to min, we have a card and a resource. Okay, so if we run into more clue locations, I have a feeling there aren't any more, but if we run into more clue locations, I guess that'll be handy. All right, new turn. So we're gonna advance the act here, uh, the agenda here. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, what do we have? Guest of honor. Ah, oh, if it isn't our final guest, the doorman announces. Miss Divine, your presence here has been long awaited. The woman wears a devilish dress and a similar grin. You swear you've seen the symbol on her amulet before. Well, now the real party can begin, she declares, then heads off to mingle with the other party goers. Okay, so we're gonna find the bystander with the fewest clues on it, among bystanders with at least one clue, and Diane Devine is going to spawn there. And we're also gonna shuffle shocking display uh, into the encounter deck, some pretty creepy, but yet kind of cool art, I think. Dis discard pile, yep, the discard pile shuffles in as well. So we got that rough crowd to worry about again. Okay, so Diane Devine is gonna spawn at Sebastian's location. And what do we have here? Hiding an oath, oath unspoken. Each investigator at D Diane Devine's location cannot discover or take control of clues. Oh, no more parlaying here. And then, um, okay, so what she's gonna do is she's just gonna block us by, um, by I guess, blocking the the bystander that we're closest to um, clearing out. It's too bad. Well, uh, I, I guess there's nothing we can do about that. It was, it was coming. All right, so um, we go over to Agenda 2, The Terrifying Truth. More and more, this place continues to fall into madness, transforming before your very eyes. Okay, so when we hit three doom, instead of um, advancing, we're going to resolve one of these cards that are tucked underneath the uh, scenario scenario card here, sickening reality. So that's going to do each one of those is going to do different things. So we've got eight of them. Yep, we've got a stack of eight of them. So eight different things can happen when we hit three doom. Okay, I guess that kind of acts as a time limit because it says here if there are none left, we'll advance to agenda 2B. Well, our time limit's pretty long if you think about it. Like, if we're willing to take eight of these, you know, and that's that's 24 more turns. Oh, I guess 26 more turns because, you know, the game will end when we hit, when we get the 27th Doom. 
So we got a ways to go. I have a feeling the game's going to go faster than that because I'm betting what what's under here is going to be super nasty. All right, so that's our um, that's our adding our doom. So let's go into encounter cards and see what kind of stuff we get. All right, so we're going to test willpower, and if we fail, we'll take two horror. That's not too bad. Um, so we're at three versus two. That's okay. Um, worst comes worst is two horror, which I think I'll I'll deal with. Okay. Oh, that's a success. Okay, so we get a free swap. I guess I'll swap in a guardian. Okay. Over here, we've got a maniac. Okay. So it it jumps and engages with her, and then it then Min takes a damage, and we deal a damage to the maniac. Okay. Fortunately, this guy's easy to evade. He doesn't hunt, and we're gonna and I think we're fine leaving him here because Diane is preventing us from talking to Sebastian anyway. So I think what we're gonna do is there anything? Oh. Right, we've still got this essence of the dream here. Is there any way to commit it before her turn starts? Um, if I had analytical mind out, yes, but doesn't look like it. So, oh well. So I think what we'll do is, I guess we can have Mingo first. We can have her um, run away from the maniac. Probably head up to talk to Ishimaru. She's got a lot of cards in hand, so that seems about right. Okay, we'll do that. So we're gonna start Min's turn, um, and then we're gonna start evading. We're at two versus one right now. Um, I could spend the first action going take heart. Yeah, I don't think I need more cards at the moment. So first action, I'll try to I'll like really try to evade this guy. We're currently two versus one. Uh, if I put in essence of the dream, that puts up to four versus one. And then trigger min, that's five versus one. Seems good. Might be a little overkill. Um, Shroud is three, and we have two other things in the bag, and the other things are minus three. So let's try to go three over instead. And I think I'll do that by putting in this glimmer of hope and triggering Min. So now I'm at four versus one. Okay, that's although Essence of the Dream I kind of want to get rid of, like actually use. So I think I'll I will play the Essence of the Dream, but I won't trigger Min's ability. Okay, so we're at three versus one. Minus three. Oh, sorry, four versus one. Two, three, four versus one. Yes, success. Okay, I called it there. The Elder thing. All right. So first action, I evade the uh, I evade the Maniac. Okay, that's good. All right, we need to get out of here. So second action, let's head on up to the gallery. The sounds of conversation and warped music become muffled as you approach a lonely section of the manor. Leading to the door of the gallery is a long hall adorned with many expensive paintings, including one of Mrs. Dumain herself. Okay, so the gallery, oh, yucks. Somehow the guests, on, the guests in the gallery are still interested in the art on display, even though someone has vandalized all of the paintings and statues. So, yep. More, more nightmare here. Okay, so bad news. When we end our turn at the gallery of test willpower two, and if you fail, place one of your clues on the gallery, which is kind of nasty because then you got to spend an action to pick it back up. All right, so second action, we move into the gallery. And then third action, I could start parlaying, but I think it's analytical mind time. That way she can help out Lola. So let's do that. End of her turn, we got to make a willpower test at difficulty two. We're starting off as a four. So I think I'll plug in this glimmer of hope. Yeah, let's do that, and we'll trigger min. So now we're at six versus two. Okay. Oh. Minus three. Okay. Oh, minus one, in fact, because the shroud's one. Okay, so we're fine. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so over to Lola. We need to talk to Constance some more, and I think I'll let Min handle this up here. Um, Lola's got track shoes, so if Min gets jumped by a baddie, she, Lola can get back pretty easily. So I think we're going to talk to Constance Domain twice, and then probably move on to... Uh, I guess I'll go start talking to Ashley because there's no way she's going to have resources to talk to Jordan. All right, so let's do that. Uh, first action, we'll talk to Constance. We're we're starting at three versus one. So we're not investigating very much. So I think I'll pitch in this magnifying glass. Trigger analytical mind to draw a card. Okay. Oh, I could have done that when I... Um, I could have done that when I uh, made the willpower test. Oh, well. So I pitch in this magnifying glass. Trigger analytical mind. So right now she's adding one. So now we're at four versus four versus one on this test. Okay, that's nice. We succeed. Okay. Second action. Let's try again. I think Min's gonna hold back this time because mainly because she needs a um, she needs to have six cards to talk to Ishimaru next turn. So she's gonna draw one next turn. All right. So we'll we'll uh, parlay again at three versus one. Um, uh oh. That's a failure. So we're gonna put a doom on an on a lunatic, 
either a lunatic or a, or a psychopath. Um, I'll put on the psychopath. All right, so Lola has a reason to actually go down there and fight the psychopath because it's, it'll... Um, and if she does it next turn, you know, it'll... Yeah, because of that doom there. She can do it next turn during the witching hour. All right, that's that'll work. Third action, let's parley again. Uh, we're going to be at four, uh, three versus one. That's a success. So we've got the last clue off of Constance, meaning we don't have to come back to the courtyard, you know, and have to worry about spawning an enemy. All right, so that went decently well. Lola's got something to do next turn. Very important. All right, so we have no active hunters, so instead we're just going to draw um, draw cards and gain resources. Do I want to stay in? Do I want to stay a guardian? Sure. Okay, we've got a hallowed mirror. That'll be that'll probably come in handy later after we've taken some horror and things. Over here, we get we go back up to six cards, and we got an inquiring mind, which is totally not going to do very much right now, <laughs> unless we drop a clue on the gallery. But we have our six cards that we need. All right, new turn. We're going to go to one doom out of three, and let's get some encounter cards. All right, bleeding walls. Ooh. So this one's nasty because the difficulty is five. If we fail, we'll lose an action take a horror. I think I might just have to tank this one because difficulty five is a lot. I could put in, like, a take the initiative, but then even then I might still fail miserably. I mean, we got Elder Things are minus fives anyway, so I think I'll just take it at, gosh, three versus three versus five. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, minus one. Okay, so I guess I could have passed it if I put in Steadfast or take the initiative, but um, if that was a minus two, neither one of those would have worked. So I think I'm, I stand by my decision. So we're going to take a horror, and we're going to lose an action. Yeah. So the main reason I did that is that um, the difficulty difficulty was very high, and there was no, um, it wasn't like writing remains where there was like degrees of failure. So that's why I just decided to take that on the chin. I, it, it felt like a sacrifice that I could do. Plus Lola only really needs to make to take two actions this turn. One to walk over to the psychopath and one to attack the psychopath. All right, over to here, what do we have? Dance of the Yellow King. Okay, so she, if she fails this, she's gonna get jumped on by a maniac and I'd rather not have that not happen. So let's try to succeed. We're currently at four versus three. Uh, I'll plug in the um, Glimmer of Hope, trigger Analytical Mind, and do I trigger Min? So currently we're at five versus three. That seems fine. Minus one. Okay, that's a success. So that's dealt with. Okay, so Min needs to grab as many clues as she can off of Ishimaru, and Lola needs to head down here and take down the Psychopath. So I think we're going to have... Lola have Min go first, so that way she'll have this in order to help Lola. Okay, we'll do that. So she grabs this. So she's making these parlays at, um, what's it, uh, four versus zero. That seems pretty decent. So we'll do that. For So we'll parlay three times. Okay, just basically looking for not tentacles here. So let's give this bag a shuffle. Okay, not a tentacle, not a tentacle, and... Not a tentacle. Okay, so we grab three clues. Okay, and now we have to make a willpower test of difficulty two to see if we keep we hang on to the clues. So I'll do that by um, I think I'll just take it straight because I want to save this for Lola. Okay, so we're gonna test that. Oh, I just now realized that Min could have played take heart on Lola's um, willpower test, the difficulty five one. Silly me, I got to remember these things. That could have been really useful. All right, so we're going to test, test willpower at four versus two. Uh, minus four. Okay, so we lose a clue. All right, so we have something to do next turn. Uh, the plus side is this means um, that turns on Inquiring Mind for Lola's attack, which I might actually use, considering that Inquiring Mind doesn't look like it's going to be very useful this game. All right, over to Lola. We're going to spend one action to move back to the foyer, engage the Psychopath. Um, so I could take a horror to make it five fight. If I did that, then... What I need, I'd probably need Min's help. Yeah, right now Min can provide two question marks, so she'd be at three, four, five, seven versus five if I didn't take a horror. So I'll just take the horror just to be sure. All right, so right now I'm at five versus two, and then Min will put in the essence of the dream. So now we're at seven versus two. This is last action. We're attacking with our enchanted blade. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna cause us to. That's going to cause the agenda to advance. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. Oh, well. 
Hey, nothing we can do about nothing we can do about tentacles. Nothing you can do. All right, so the psychopath is going to attack Lola. Okay, and then we're going to go to upkeep. So this is going to cost us. It's really going to cost us. All right, and we've got a Madame Lebranche when this thing goes away. All right, things were smooth, pretty smooth sailing until that moment. All right, so now we. Uh, uh, grab this doom off the psychopath, and we go to three doom out of three. So we're gonna spawn. We're gonna spawn a sickening reality here. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Stop. Okay. Let's see what this is. Um, place this card back underneath. Okay. So this is looking for party guests, of which we don't have any right now. Okay. Shuffle that some more. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Stop. Okay. Sebastian. Okay. Well, we weren't going to be able to parley with him anyway, so I guess he's going to... What's going to happen to him? His passionate debate with another guest turns ugly. His temper transform not... His temper transforms not just his demeanor, but his body as well. Thick fur sprouts from his skin, along with several bulbous growths that leak pus and blood. His suit tears as his body distorts, bones snapping and muscles bulging. He is as much beast as he is man. Okay, so this clue is going to drop off of Sebastian. Okay. And then... We have to deal with this fella now. So he's gone. And now we have to deal with this fella. All right, what do we got here? Is that how it works? Yep. Three, five, three. Ooh, five's a lot. Hunter retaliate. Want to be in our next performance. Oh, okay. So here's, so this is gonna be a small problem because Lil's gonna get overwhelmed here pretty soon if I'm not careful. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, she's, not, she's running a little of ammo and she's gonna run low insanity if she tanks Sebastian. At the same time, I don't really want Min tanking Sebastian, although she's in a case where she can engage, she can deal with him, probably by evading. All right, well, let's see what kind of encounter cards we get before we plan too far. Okay. You must either place one of your clues on a bystander or take a horror and a damage. Yuck. Um, she's hurting on horror and damage right now, so I think I'm going to have her put one on Ishimaru. When does this trigger? Beginning of the enemy phase. Okay, so Min needs to grab that off of Ishimaru. And what do we have? Oh, tough crowd. Now we got it. So we're costing Min two actions. Okay. Rough. All right, so Lola, I think, needs to take the Psychopath out and then heal up with the with the Hallowed Mirror before Sebastian comes to get her. That seems like a plan. Min needs to grab these two clues and probably leave. All right, let's do that. Okay, so how do we do that? Um... We'll have Lola go first. If she attacks, she can attack the Psychopath at... She also probably needs to arm up again. All right, we got we got problems. So first action, we're attacking. We're going to be at five versus two, which seems okay. Um, I'm not going to have a good use of Take Heart. So just in case, we'll have Min play Take Heart and use the Analytical Mind. Okay, that's good. All right, so if Lola somehow fails it, Min profits. All right, we're at five versus two. Nice. Not another tentacle. Yeah. Okay, so we take care of the psychopath and we get to swap roles. Um, I can heal if I stay as a guardian or I can put down the derringer if I swap to rogue. I think I'll stay guardian because I think I'm going to heal up some horror here and then let Sebastian come to me. Alright, second action. Play Hallowed Mirror. Okay, so we'll spawn that and shuffle that into the deck. Okay, that's second action. Third action, let's heal two of our horror and draw a card. Okay, so we're good to fight Sebastian. We just need some more ammo because he's got five health. It's kind of troublesome. All right, Min, we need to grab this clue and talk to Ishimaru. So first thing I'll do is talk to Ishimaru. I'll be at four versus zero. That's a success. Okay, so we grab Ishimaru's clue. All right, second, I'll investigate and let's take this opportunity to get rid of the winging it. I dump it into the bin. Oh, this comes into my hand. So I'll be at um, four versus zero on investigation. Success. Okay. Now we kind of have a uh, question here. Do we stick around and make this willpower te test again? I think I will, because I don't want to go in there. If we draw, if we spawn another enemy, that could be problematic. Oh, well, I don't even get a choice because I was supposed to spend two actions to parlay with Ishimaru. Right. Oh, well. So that's the end of her turn. So now she's got to make that willpower test. Um, this is the part where I'll put in essence the dream and we're gonna be at six versus two. Okay, minus one. All right, so we are fine there. Okay, so that is all our actions. Now we're gonna resolve Hunter Sebastian. So I got two choices. I can have him hunt to here and then Min can evade. 
Or I can have I can hunt to here, and then I'll have Lola take care of it. <sighs> These are both tough calls, but I think I'm gonna have Lola um, take take care of this. Okay, so she's gonna deal with uh, Sebastian Savage Hysteria. Okay, that I think there's like pros and cons of either choice. I mean, if he went up to Min, Min would have to evade him, and she's not very good at it. But it kind of st stuffs him in a corner. Um, but if we go with, but Lola can actually like deal with him. So let's see how this goes. We're probably gonna have to start by evading him because Lola's rolling, running low on ammo. All right. So that's that. Now we'll go to upkeep. I think I'm gonna stay a guardian because of these three. So actually, I didn't even have to stay a guardian because of those three. I could have swapped to rogue. But now that I know what that is, so that's gonna cause us two more horror. Yuck. And then I become a guardian. Okay, well that's good. I could use the vicious blow though. I guess I should have swapped to rogue there. Okay. Over to Min. What do we get? A magnifying glass. Not so necessary right now. All right, new turn. We're at one doom out of three. Okay, so things are really heating up here now that we've got. Now that the uh, looks like the party guests are starting to transform. Delusory evils. Ooh, this is awful. Um, so we must either put a doom on the current agenda, or we have to automatically fail a skill test. But when we succeed by three or more, so this is going to be a tightrope. It's probably worth taking though. Another maniac. Okay, that engages her and does a damage to her. So unfortunately, it doesn't hunt. So I think Min's going to have to evade and leave. Yep, no bones about it. Lola, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is I think we're going to Min go first, so that way she can help out Lola with her Essence of the Dream. Um, so we have Min go first. We'll grab that. So we need to evade this Maniac, and we'll do it just the way we did last time by ugh, pitching into it. Um, I think I'll pitch in the Grizzly Totem and Exhaust Analytical Mind to draw a card. Dark Pact. All right, we'll have to deal with that later. And I'll put Min's, to Min's ability into it. So that's going to be four versus one. Uh oh, minus one. Okay, that's a success. Okay, I didn't want another Doom to like spiral out of control. This is also the part where I remember that we get to interview Ishimaru. What do we got? The pattern. In speaking with Ishimaru, you discover that she designed all of the costumes worn in tonight's performance, save for one. That stranger character. Peculiar role, is it not? For whatever reason, Mr. Engram would not allow me to change his outfit, not one bit. And that mask, she scoffs. Did you know, one time I found that actor, I don't even know his name, I found him drawing a strange pattern behind the backdrop for the second act. You know the one with the two sons. All oh, right, I remember um, on the art for the stage, or was it backstage, there was like a curtain and I noticed there were two sons there. He gave me a terrible stare, and I dare say I jumped right off the stage and ran. You ask what the pattern looked like, and she finds a nearby napkin and begins to draw. Her recreation is much more detailed than you expected. Rings of concentric semicircles lined with strange runes, and at the center is a pair of two wavy lines. You ask her what it means, and she shrugs, having the slightest clue. Okay, so we have interviewed Haruko. Okay, and then she goes back to just being a party guest. Another thing I need to remember, speaking of party guests, is that she's going to jump over and have a chat with one of these two. Yes, um, I think we're going to go with Jordan Perry because of how few resources we have. So she's going to go have a chat with Jordan Perry and kind of block us. Yeah, I should have remembered that. I don't think it um, it interfered with anything last turn because it was only this turn. Yeah, because last turn um, Lola had to drop a clue on Ishimaru, but then Min immediately picked it up so that way Diane wouldn't go over there. Okay, so I think we're fine. All right, so that was Min's first action. She just evaded. Okay, so we need to we need to leave. Um, the only real good way of leaving is through the courtyard. Hopefully, we won't spawn a bad guy. That would be bad if we did. Okay, so second action, we'll we'll walk over to the courtyard, and hopefully, we won't spawn a bad guy. We that's not an enemy; that's an asset. So we are okay. All right, we could stay here, um, or we can probably head up to go talk to Ashley. Um, I wish I could afford to play. Well, I could. I could play this. Mm. She can come down and help Lola. Nah, she can already pitch in a test. All right, so we're gonna work on I think Ashley next. So let's head on up to the dining room. The rancid smell of rotten food wafts onto the dining room door, and you barely avoid losing your lunch. Oh, what's in here? Okay, so as an action here, you can heal a horror, then reveal a random token from the chaos bag. 
Um, if, a ne if a skull or tentacle is drawn, take a horror and place a doom on the dining room. Yeah, it doesn't seem really worth it. The sight of the guests scarfing down the awful feast, mouthful after mouthful, makes your stomach turn. Gross. All right, so we're going to have to start talking to Ashley. She's just two actions to parley with her. Her voice is beautiful and full of passion. If only you knew what the lyrics meant. All right, so that's, um, that's Min's turn. She's got a full hand, which is kind of good. So hopefully she can use some of it on Lola here. All right, so Lola, we're working on Sebastian. Um, we're at, we can't take another hit because we're at five horror. And we can't succeed by too much. Um, suddenly I realized I should have had Lola go first because of Take the Initiative. All right, so we're going to start by evading him. We're currently at four versus three. Um, let's have Min play the Essence of the Dream. So we'll be at four, five, six versus three. That seems pretty good. That's a success by two. Very important. So he's evaded. That's good. That means he's not going to attack Lola this phase, uh, during the enemy phase. All right, so what does Lola need to do? I'm probably going to have to take this guy out because it's really, I mean, he's being blocked and yeah, let's work on taking this guy out. All right, how are we going to do that? We can't heal. So we're just going to have to start attacking. All right, so if I do this, I'm at five versus three, which isn't so bad. Um, I don't want to pitch too much into it. Well, this one I can actually tank and fail. You know, because of with I can fail with um, delusory evils. Oh, I wish I had another resource so I could play my Derringer. Hmm. So at five versus three right now, um, Elder Thing is minus two, so she's doing pretty good. I think I'll pitch something into it though from Min. I could just pitch and take card. That's it, which I don't really want to. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do five versus three. Oh, auto fail. Well, that's that. Oh, that's too bad. All right, so that's all our actions. Um, nothing hunts, but instead he re-engages. Okay. And now we go to upkeep. Okay, things are looking pretty tight for Lola. Ooh, we have Dark Horse. That's good to see. Okay, but we're low on resources right now. And over here we've got a Glimmer of Hope. Okay. So new turn. We are at two Doom out of three. Okay. And let's see what kind of encounter cards we get. Oh, Lola has two guy, bad guys to deal with now. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Because she's... Oh, both of them have bad guys to deal with. Okay, things are starting to get a little ugly, especially since Lola has no weaponry. So Lola really needs to evade this Sebastian. Yeah. She can take one more hit if I lose the fine clothes. All right, so I think it's time to just take the initiative. The problem is we got this thing. So maybe... Two evasions on... Oh, she's going to have to evade three times if I lose to lose the delusory evils. So if I go evade, evade, Derringer, that would be pretty good. So we'll start with our evasions. Um, yeah, I guess we can have Min help. Yeah, so if Min goes first, Min can help. But if Lola goes first, she can use her take the initiative. So we'll have Lola go first. All right, first things first, let's evade Sebastian. We're at four versus three right now. Um, let's go six versus three. So I try not to get hit by that. Oh, I succeed by too much and I fail, okay. But I get to change roles. I'll become a survivor or a rogue, I guess. Okay, second action, let's try again. This time we're gonna be at six versus three. Oh dear, whoops. Okay, so that's a success. Okay, that's good. Um, evade Sebastian. That's good. Okay. And then third action, I think I'm just going to have to evade again. Sucks. Four versus three. Uh, we'll put in the Glimmer of Hope. So five versus three. Trigger Min to be six versus three. Yeah, it's probably fine. Use Analytical Mind. Okay. So, and she evades that one. Okay. So not a very productive turn, sadly, but we got rid of the delusory evils. Uh, I need another action to be able to either move away or um, play the Derringer, sadly. So Lola is tangling. All right, over here, we got to evade and I think talk to Ashley. Yeah, that seems good. All right, so we need to evade. We're currently at two versus three, yuck. Get this. Okay, so the location gets plus two Shroud. That's good, so is Shroud four. That's actually really good to see because it means that this is if she evades and puts in the essence of the dream, she's at six versus three already. I like it. I'll take it. Minus two. Okay, so she evades, and 
the only way we're going to progress is if we um, grab this, we're going to parlay, get this clue. Okay, we're good. Next turn, we're probably going to do the same thing. Okay. Yep, that's going to be all our actions. So we have no active hunters. Instead, these things are going to re-engage Lola. This is going to re-engage men. So we're, Lola's still on that type rope there. All right, new turn. Or rather, upkeep. Card and resource. Okay, and we have a card and a resource, and we get to discard something. Um, let's see, what would I play next? Probably the lab assistant next, so I'll drop this. Okay, new turn. Oh gosh, something else is going to transform, isn't it? Okay, so this could be, this could start getting really ugly. All right, here we go. What is it? Constance. Did we? Oh, we should have interviewed her. <laughs> Oh whoops, yeah, I totally forgot. Let's uh, so we'll start. But we'll uh, we'll resolve the interview before we resolve her transforming. Engram's oath. It doesn't take long for the amiable hostess to open up to you about the play. Oh yes, my husband and I helped Sebastian produce the whole thing. She explains. I was a little hesitant at first, but that director, Mister Engram, my what a talented man! He's so very eccentric. Did you know before rehearsals rehearsals even began, he had us recite some sort of oath of sorts, a formality, I guess. You know creative types and their silly rituals, but afterwards we were filled with so much spirit. She smiles, zeal in her eyes. From that moment on, we had no hesitations. The King in Yellow would be the most successful performance in Arkham history. So we've interviewed Constance. All right, let's make a note of that. Yeah, forgetting to resolve things on the board. The other thing I forgot, to, I realized I forgot now is she would go over to talk to Ashley. So that's going to block this. All right, so now Constance is going gonna, is gonna to transform. Constance laughs as the skin begins to slough off her body. Blood trickles from her shedding skin, leaving a trail of crimson on the carpet where she walks. One might expect her to cease functioning. One might expect her to cease functioning with her ribs and organs exposed, but she barely seems to notice. Okay, so Constance becomes this lovely lady right here, and uh, she's going to hunt, and she's just going to deal damage. All right, those things are getting ugly. So let's um, see what we got here tough crowd okay fortunately i don't think we're going to be doing any, any parlays right now because we can't parlay ashley fragile thoughts all right so we have to discard events with a total cost of at least is it printed shroud or shroud great so i can discard four resource worth of events um i can't willingly discard that one so nothing happens so i guess it just surges yep Oh dear, another another enemy. All right, we'll give it. We'll give it plus three fight. Okay, so we got to do some mad evasions here. This is gonna get ugly. Um, we're gonna start with Min, so that way she can get this essence of the dream. So we got to evade, evade, and then move. Fortunately, they won't follow us. Okay, so that, oh, and this thing's gonna actually that thing is gonna hunt. I guess there's no clues in the location. All right, we're in big trouble. We're gonna have to get the heck out of here. Yeah. Okay, there's a clue there. All right, here we go. First, we evade this. We are at, no, that's the more dangerous one. So we're at two versus three right now. There's no clues there. So we'll go to six versus three. Okay, so we evade. All right, second action, we need to evade this guy. That'll put us at four. Oh, I should use analytical mind. Okay, four, and then I'll use Min's ability to put her at five versus three. Minus four, uh, fortunately we have a lucky to take care of it. Okay, so he's evaded. Third action, we don't wanna jump right into Constance, so we're gonna have to head down to the ballroom. The distorted music grows louder as you approach the ballroom. Inside, many of the guests are dancing, eating, and enjoying themselves. Narrow yellow eyes watch the dancers hungrily from the darkness outside. When you try to warn the other guests, they smile politely, comment about wild animal sightings around Arkham, and go back to dancing. So I guess the bee keys are hanging out outside. All right, so to talk to Jordan Perry, we're going to need a lot more resources than we have, so I don't think that's happening. All right, that's Min's turn. So Lola, we need, we're in kind of some trouble here. We gotta do some mad evasions, and we have because we have no ammo. Yuck. Um, I guess we'll start by evading Sebastian. We're at four versus three to start. Um, 
Oh dear, Min can't put anything in. So she'll put a take card in. All right, four versus three. Success, oh, too bad, Min. No take card for you. All right. Second action, we could evade this or we could take an AO, which is risky, but get the Derringer down so we can actually shoot this thing. Actually, seems like a decent plan. All right, so second action, I'll lose the Enchanted Blade. No, I'll lose the Magnifying Glass to arm up with the Derringer, take an AO, and we'll third action, shoot with the Derringer. So we're going to be at three, four, five versus three, and we need to succeed by two. Um, if I pitch them this Steadfast, we have nine down out of 14, so we have five left. Okay, so that'll be two fists if I do that. Okay, so we're three, four, five. We'll be at seven versus three, which is decent. Min can't really help, so there we go. Seven minus four is three, so we do one damage. Uh oh. Yeah, we're in trouble now. Yep, one, two, three. Okay, so enemy phase. Um, Constance hunts. Do we hunt Min or do we hunt Lola? Let's hunt Min. Pick some pressure off the Lola. Take some pressure off Lola. So this thing is going to deal a horror to Lola, so she'll lose her fine clothes. And Constance is going to do two damage to Min. I guess that seems fine. And this guy's going to re-engage. Fortunately, Lola can actually shoot now. This is going to go away. They're going to refresh. So this guy's going to start hunting next turn. All right, upkeep. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Haste. Good, but not while I'm engaged with things. Very good, if I had it like two turns ago. Then I got an inquiring mind, which is not going to do anything. All right, new turn. We're at one doom out of three. And okay, I hope this doesn't take us out. Fine dining. Oh no, she can't take a horror into damage, so we're going to have to put this on a bystander. Ugh. We don't want to put it here, don't want to put it here. Back up to Ishimaru, I guess. Yeah. Dance of the Yellow King. So we got a test power, or we get attacked by her again. So let's not fail that. But we have no way to really boost right now, so we're just going to have to go for it. Four versus three. Failure. Okay, so she attacks for two more. One, two. Yuck. All right, we're kind of in trouble now. Okay, what do we need to do? Okay, we need to evade for sure. Okay, if she evades and comes back down to the foyer, she can help Lola by triggering her uh, ability on Lola's commits. Okay, that's good. So we're at two versus one right now. We'll start with this. Two versus one. Um, I'll start with Essence of the Dream. So we're gonna be at six versus one. Use Analytical Mind. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, we, we succeed. Yeah, that would have been awful. Three Doom just added on Constance. That would have been awful. Okay, so we do that. Second action. We'll come down and help Lola. And I think to help her, third action, I'm going to go grab some question marks out of the bin here. One, two, three. Okay. So now she's ready to help out. Lola. All right. We only have two bullets, so we can't take down Sebastian. We got to take down at least one of them. Okay, fortunately that has one hit point left, so I think I'll use the Enchanted Blade. Just attack at four versus three. Seems like a good plan. All right, so we attack at four versus three. We'll put in a Glimmer of Hope. And we'll trigger Min. So we're going to get four, five, six versus three. That seems pretty good. Minus one. Okay, so this thing is dealt with. Okay, that's good. All right, now that's going to lower our Elder Things when dealing with Sebastian. Okay, we can't take him out, so we're gonna, just going to have to evade him. Okay, what can we do to evade? Min can put in this Glimmer of Hope. So now we're at four, five versus three to evade. Lola has... Uh, I don't want to put in the haste, but I think I'm going to have to. So we're going to be three over on this evasion check. Minus one is a success. He's evaded. All right, what's coming at us? Um, nothing's coming at us next turn, so maybe this is the chance we have to start shooting Sebastian. Uh, the other, I can't afford to play Dark Horse, so I think I'm just going to have to shoot Sebastian. If I shoot him at five versus three, and then Min can commit this. All right, so we're now we're going to be at six versus three. I want to succeed by two. So let's go seven, eight, and then have Min trigger her ability there. So we're, now we're at nine versus three. Okay, that seems pretty good. Oh, dear. Oh dear. 
9 versus 3. That's 5 versus 3. Oh, wow. Okay. So we successfully deal 2 damage to Sebastian. Okay, Lola's out of ammo, though, so this might be a problem. How can we do 3 more damage to him? Yuck. All right, what we're going to do is be we're going to do the best we can. Okay, so enemy phase. Um, this guy hunts. Okay. And now we're going to refresh a bunch of stuff. We'll have this go to Lola, I still think. Yes, this is getting really tight here. And now we're going to go um, go to upkeep. Okay, that's actually handy. Okay, and what do we got? Card and resource. Okay, well, we don't need, we do not need, yeah, we don't need those icons. Well, that does nothing right now, but it can do something in the future. So I'll drop this magnifying glass, I think. No, I'll drop the cracked case, because, no, drop winging it. What am I thinking? All right, new turn. Two doom out of three, and here we go. So this could be the pro. Oh dear, another delusor evils. And okay, so we're gonna have to test this or take two horror. That's not so bad. So we're gonna test it four versus two, and we succeed and don't take two horror. All right. Lola can deal with Constance for a little while. Oh, and we just need to we just need to pump out lots of damage, which we can't really do. All right, what can we do? Um, we start heading over here. We can go evade, maybe evade um, Sebastian and move over here. It's not too bad, because this is just um, health damage, and Lola's okay on health. So is Min. Min's not okay on health. All right, so I think we're going to have Lola go first. We'll have her evade, move, deal with the Maniac. That's probably fine. Or we can go evade, Dark Horse, move. Seems pretty good. All right, so we'll evade it four versus three. Let's go five, six versus three, but not seven versus three because I don't, because of this delusory evil. So we're at six versus three. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, we succeed by three, don't we? Okay, so we fail that. Okay. Great. Second action. Well, men can't pitch in, so we're just at, we may just have to resign this turn. Um,. Yeah, we'll go again at four versus three. Jesus. Okay, so we successfully evade him this time. Okay, now what? Um, if we go over, we can go over there. All right, we're fighting for our lives here. So we'll head over here. This is going to engage Lola. It's going to deal her a damage, and it's going to take a damage. Okay. So we live, we live to uh, evade another day. All right. Sadly, I didn't get to play Dark Horse. Okay, Min. Nothing to do but go over here and get this clue. Okay, she gets that. So first action, we'll move over here. All right, we also got. We also want to grab Ishimaru. Man, she's just figured out a way to give Lola some cards. Okay, first action, we moved. Let's get this clue. We're currently um, investigating at four versus three. Oh, we can trigger our crack the case here. That's good. We're at four versus three. Uh, I'll pitch in the deduction since it's not doing anything else. So we'll go five versus three, six versus three, use inquire, use analytical mind. Okay, so now we're at six versus three. Oh dear. Okay, we succeed. So we get this we get this clue. And then we'll play crack the case. Um, who needs resources? Probably Lola, actually, because she has more assets in her deck. Yeah. Okay. That's second action. Third action. Watch. Um, what, can, what can she do to help here? Maybe she can punch this guy. That doesn't seem like too bad of a plan. I should have punched him while I could use Inquiring Mind. Okay, let's do it. Um, so if we punch him, we're at four versus three if I do that. No, that doesn't seem good at all. I'll put this magnifying glass down as a free action. And I'm not sure what I'll do now. Um, these guys are coming. I could go up there. Nah, but he'll hit me twice. So, can gauge this guy off. Now that'll damage the assistant, then take down Min, so that's a bad idea. Take a resource. Take a card. Yeah, I guess we don't need all these cards. 
Okay, draw a card. Logical reasoning. Oh, that's going to help us heal Lola. Okay, so enemy phase. This guy attacks Lola. Okay, so we're at five out of six there. Hunters hunt. They go here. He refreshes. Okay, we're getting surrounded now. Um, upkeep. Card and resource. Oh, that's always good to see. Okay, over here. Card and resource. So we have too many cards. Let's drop the thing we can't play at all. Okay. New turn. Oh, we're going to have another sickening reality. Uh-oh. We might have uh, stayed past our welcome here. We might. We, maybe we should have just bailed. Encore. Encore. The crowd shouts as Ash Ashley finishes her final song of the night. Deciding to stay for one last number, she nods to the pianist. The song that follows is excruciating. Her once beautiful voice is now a wailing screech with unnatural pitch. Her skin is tightlin tightened hideously around her bones, and insects begin to eat their way out of her arms and shoulders, crawling over her body. The crowd is loving this final performance. Oh, that's gross. Okay, so what's going to happen here is that Ashley is going to become this lady right here. Songs die unheard. Songs that the Heidi shall sing, where, fl where flap the tatters of the king, must die unheard in Dim Carcosa. Okay, so she's just she's got five hit points. She's not hard to fight, but it's that horror that is um, a problem. So we're getting pretty surrounded here. We may have to just run for it this turn. But let's see what kind of um, encounter cards we get before we make that call. The Pale Mask beckons. Okay, so this is going to um, go find the Man in the Pallid Mask out of Lola's deck. And we're going to spawn it. Okay, the farthest, the farthest thing is two spaces away, so I'll just go ahead and put him here. Okay, that seems fine. So he's, he's hanging out up there. All right, and now we've got Shocking Display. Oh, dear. Randomly dissolve one of the Sickening Reality cards. Uh-oh. <laughs> Spaghetti-o. All right, this is going to be awful. Uh-oh. Walls are closing in. All right, no whammies, no whammies. Oh, wait. Okay, so we have to redraw off because this is a party guest. All right. Don't have any party guests. Um, so this is going to be Jordan Perry. He takes another puff from his cigar, and his eyes burn a deep red hue. As he exhales, his skin begins to crack and hardens into stone. Cigar smoke exudes from the fissures in his skin, and the temperature in the room rises dramatically. He clenches his hand around the chair's armrest, which crumbles to ash in his awful grasp. Okay, so Jordan Perry is... is uh, turning into something hideous as well. So, oh wow, so we are, this whole house is turning against us. Okay, so now we got this guy to deal with. Cigar smoke permeates the room, causing you to cough and wheeze. Okay, so <laughs> things are not looking so good. Um, all right, well, that's all our encounter cards. So what do we need to do? We need to get out of here, I think. Um, well, let's, let's, let's analyze. So that hunts and that hunts. Okay, so we're looking at, so we got to deal with Sebastian, Constance, the Maggot Swarm, Jordan, and Ashley. Okay, fortunately, Jordan, so if we end our turns down here, we're going to get hit by all these. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to bail. I think we're just going to have to bail. It's too bad we got that clue up there on Ishimaru. Yeah, there's no real way. We can't go. We can't get up there and then get back down. We just don't have enough actions. Um, so I think we'll just have to deal with this guy, move here, and then resign. Min can move and resign. She can't really do anything else with her last action. If only she had, like, a fourth action, she might be able to pull something off with that clue, but she doesn't. Oh, she can deal with her Dark Pact. Oh, that's a problem. Cause, oh, she she can hurt her fine clothes and her lab assistant with her dark pact. All right, we're going to be okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll have Lola go first. All right, so we got to deal with this guy. Um, let's do two damage to him or evade him. Oh, he's only one to evade. All right, let's just do that. So we're at four versus one to evade. All right, we're not messing around. So put in this Eureka. And using analytical mind. Okay. So we're at four versus one to evade, five versus one, thanks to analytical mind. Okay, that's a success. So Lola gets to use the Eureka. Don't get that. Uh, that would have been great. Um, and that would also have been great. So we'll just say I kept that. Okay, so we'll do that. He's evaded. Okay, there's really not much to do, but second action move, third action resign. Okay, so that would have um, 
grab Sebastian, but then he drops back down there. All right, Min, she has, there's not much for her to do except first action, play her dark pact to get rid of her lab assistant and her fine clothes. Second action, we'll move down here, um, which engages Sebastian, but what does, and, but resigning does not provoke. Okay, so we got the heck out of there as the whole house, except for Ishimaru, was coming down on us. Yeah, that was getting pretty, uh, pretty gruesome there. All right, so um, let's. What happens when we all resign? Oh, that should be back under here. There we go. So we go to no resolution because we all resigned. All right, so resolution one. The brisk autumn air embraces you as you exit the manor. There is no doubt in your mind that the cast and crew of the King in Yellow have become affected by madness. Perhaps it's getting to you as well. You feel an encroaching darkness, a presence in your mind not unlike the gaze of the stranger. Startled, you peer about the front yard for the first time since escaping the manor. The scene is different. The front windows are not smashed as they were when you first approached. The trail of blood you had noticed on the porch has been wiped clean, and instead of the disturbingly warped music you heard upon entering, the soothing tones of slow jazz drift out from under the courtyard. Okay, so we're going to record the name of each character we interviewed, which is Haruko and Constance. We also record the um, the names of the, of the unique lunatics we slain. We we sl we have we 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 killed. We did not deal with Sebastian, sadly, thanks to some uh, delusory evils and being low on ammo. Okay, so we're just going to earn some victory points. We have none in the victory display, sadly. So for each two clues that we discovered, we're going to earn an additional... For every two clues, we're going to earn, as a group, an, an experience point. So we discovered 11 clues. Yep, that sounds about right. 11 out of 17 is pretty decent. So we're going to get 5 XP to divide between us. And then we go to interlude 1. Okay, so we have to decide. Either we go back in, because things... So we either decide that things seem to have calmed down, perhaps we, could, we should go back inside. Hell no. Or I don't just trust I don't trust this place one bit. Let's block the door and get the hell out of here. Seems pretty re reasonable. Or if these people are allowed to live there, these horrors will only repeat themselves. We have to put an end to this. We have to kill them. I don't see Lola and Min as like the ultra murderous sort. So And, and they're pretty convinced that there's something messed up going on. So we're just gonna, we're gonna run away. Um, with R Lunacy's reward too. You, don't, you can't trust your senses. This is all a trick, an attempt to lure you back inside. That sounds about right. You're no safer now than you were before. Swallowing your fear, you set to work barricading the front door of the manor using several of the heavy stone benches lining the cobblestone path in the front yard. You hope it's enough, but you aren't willing to stick around and find out. As soon as you're done, you head back to your vehicle and drive towards Southside, where you hope to find answers. So the author continues to taunt us. That door is not going to stop them. Yeah, he's probably right. So we record that we fled the dinner party. Okay. Okay, that's good. And we're going to have tablets next. We're going to have two tablets next game. I'll do that later. And then the story continues in Echoes of the Past. Okay, so that went decently well. Um, we got a pretty good job getting through the parlay tests, especially the early ones, but I think what really messed us up was that tentacle when attacking the um, when attacking the uh, young psychopath that had a doom on it. That really threw us off our game because it denied us two turns. Yeah, that denied us two turns. Well, one turn. Yeah, that because uh, we would have had another turn because we were in the witching hour. That would have gotten rid of one doom. So it denied us one turn, but kind of two because you know we had to attack it again with Sebastian on top of us. So that was kind of the uh, the real turning point from when this game became like I think we were doing okay to things were getting out of control. But that kind of goes to show in Arkham Horror that the way like the way bag probabilities work is like not. Bag probabilities aren't as smooth as you think. So, you know, it's, it's pretty common to think that um, bag probabilities, you're gonna, you know, law of averages, um, token draws are gonna like equalize over time. But one interesting thing about Arkham is that often the game really hinges on several very important bag draws. So um, that, so what that means is that messes with, your, that kind of messes with the way probability works because you have a very small sample. Well, I'm talking statistics here, but you have a, you have a small sample size of draws. So, um, you, what you can't really do is you can't really count on, um, it's like the bag almost acts as if it's like okay for you or bad for you, as opposed to being like smooth by drawing lots of tokens over time. And that's if you uh, subscribe to the idea that um, there are certain tests are very important and certain ones are not so important. So um, sorry, 
probability lesson of the day. All right, so we've gained what looks like five XP to divide amongst us. I'll think about how that's going to work. And then um, we'll be back with Echoes of the Past. So once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great night.